everyone welcome back to my channel as you know i've been on a no buy and although i've survived a couple of months i haven't actually managed to get through the whole thing without buying some items <clears throat> now i did buy these um because i managed to get them at a really good price um but you will be able to ask me questions and stuff and i'll link things down below um but i actually made an order on beauty bay which i've never no was it yeah, Beauty Bay, who I've never made an order through before and it was actually really painless and I was really happy to do that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I want to show you what I got and I'm going to do some swatches as well. So the first thing I bought was a, this works, this is the male one, but I actually bought it for me, well, I'm a young Claire, um, so unfortunately... The bottom fell off of this one and it wasn't me that did it I when I opened it it looked like this so I'm a bit annoyed by the packaging luckily I'm not giving it as a present so I got the in transit muscle therapy your massage a therapist in a roller ball to ease the burn of tired muscles so I got this for Claire because Claire has always got a really bad back so I thought I'd buy this let me just show you the actual packaging <clears throat> excuse me I hope he was still bad. Um, and I also bought the In Transit Skin Defence. Moisturiser with boosting botanicals and SPF 30. Gentle for sensitive skin. So that looks like that. I really like the packaging of this. Now I wanted to get the In Transit camera, whatever it is. Um, so I want to give these a try. But this is a daily moisturiser, this one. And it probably is for men, but I... I'm sure it would be fine for, for women as well. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to try that. And I love the packaging. Let me just show you. So you stand it up on your desk. There's a pump there. Um, so I really like that. There's 40 mils in there as well. So I, it might take me a while to get through that. Then I got some free samples, which I'm really excited about. So I got the Mario Badesco. Um, seaweed cleansing lotion and the seaweed cleansing soap. I've never tried any Mario Badesco. Let's have a sniff. Oh, that smells very fresh. Um, let's see what this one smells like. Probably the same. Mm. They're really good, again, for travelling. I've never tried them. I've, I doubt I'd buy anything like this because i know how much they are and these are really good samples these were free um and what, how, how many mils are they it doesn't actually say i think there's probably 30 mils in both 25 mils 30 mils whatever so yeah that looks great i'm really pleased with those so on to the makeup and the reason i bought all of these they were all on sale i got them all for a really good price and that's why i bought them i would never buy them otherwise so there were things i wanted to try so the first thing was a marvelous Mo moxie lipstick by bare minerals and i have never seen these and i wanted to try one firstly the packaging is incredible i bought it in fly high which is this you can see it here it's like a mauvey pink so it's like a blue toned light pink. I'm not sure how it's going to look on me actually. So you get this and there's like this little thing here that you pull, you push and you pull down and then your lipstick comes out. And this is the colour. I'm going to do a little swatch. Should I swatch it? Yeah, I'll swatch it. Oh, it's very creamy. Oh my goodness, that is actually stunning. That is beautiful. Very Smells of vanilla, smells really nice. What a gorgeous lipstick. I um, haven't really seen any reviews. To get it back in, you push it in and it clicks it clicks this back in place. Um, I really like that. Really heavy packaging. Oh, um, and the colour is just a beautiful colour. I really like that. I can't wait to try it. Um, another, should I go with lipsticks or go with brands? I'll go with brands. So another lip product I got was the Venom, Doo Venom Lipsticks in uh what did i get it in night sticks it's actually sealed comes in really cool packaging actually so it comes in this tube like this i love that sound and it's actually like a lip pencil um so i will show you that 
Oh goodness, How did, do you have to sharpen this? Oh. Well, I'm hoping I can use a normal fat pencil sharpener, but it looks bigger, doesn't it? Hmm, I'll do a swatch, but obviously I'm worried about using it. Ooh, oh, that is lovely. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to sharpen this, but I'll find it. Look at that colour. Beautiful, mid-tone, neutral. It's very similar to what I've got on my lips, actually. Um, and that's Berry Smoothie by Gerard Co Cosmetics. Oh, I love that. I really hope that I can find a way to sharpen it. I'm going to look at how... See, can you take this off? No. Yeah, I don't know. This is a plumping lipstick. Um, it seems to be, yeah, slightly glossy, although, well, satin. Really pretty. I'm so excited about that, but I wouldn't know how to sharpen it, so this might be an issue. It doesn't say anything about sharpening them. Oh, dear. I might have to see if there's a tutorial or something. Oh, I can't get the lid on. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Um, and then I'm going to go on to the next one. I'll go, it's another lip product. It's the final one I've got, but it goes inside of this. And this is Japanesque. Um, and I've never heard of them before, but I wanted to try these yet again. Um, and I bought this lovely nudie pink coral. And the lipstick, the case is lovely. So um, let me just show you the case. It comes like that. It's got the colour indicator at the bottom. And then there's like a ceramic sort of tab at the top which is really nice and this is in O2 I can't remember what colour it is just shade O2 I think and it's like a rosy toned oh wow okay so that is just beautiful really lovely colour for the summer wow that's so oh that smells of something but coconut I think mmm that smells lovely Really beautiful, really, really like that. The other thing I got from Japanesque, and I'm so excited, this is shade 04, and this is one of their Velvet Touch eyeshadows. And I just love the packaging. Look, that's the lid. Um, it's got Japanesque there. I've not heard anything about this brand either. I'm gonna have to have a look. And it's this beautiful peachy glitter. Now, I think this may be similar to um, the Outer Limits one, which is, oh wow, okay. It's a lovely, you can see it there, it's really lovely. I think that would look really nice over an eyeshadow. Oh, it's so nice. I don't know why I smelt it, but it actually does smell of coconuts. It's very soft. I didn't expect the um, swatch to come out quite like that. I know it looks sheer, but it's not got a really lovely finish to it and it's not chunky glitter either which I really I did want glittery but I didn't want it to be chunky glitter and then finally I bought a couple of Urban Decay single eyeshadows which I've never had before um, so I'll show you these I bought Asphyxia which is a purpley colour so let's have a look at these oh can you not get them out <laughs> Oh, this is awkward. How do you get them out of the box? There's like a... Awkward. Very awkward. This is um here to test me, I think. Oh, done. Right. So, let's get it out that way. So they come in these lovely silver sort of pots. If you've not seen their eyeshadows before, Think they all sort of come like this look at that color I'll do a swatch for you. wow okay that's amazing it's, um didn't expect that <laughs> where should i put this oh goodness me so that is a really lovely ultraviolet which oh, it's just gorgeous i didn't expect that at all really love that i'm gonna have to get a really nice um paint pot so I've got the um I used the gosh what are they called Maybelline colour tattoos I use those at the moment as my base on my eyes um and I've just finished if you've seen my video my update 
actually is it in this update yeah um i've just finished the um color tattoo by maybelline in pink gold but i'd love to get something that was a bit purplier to go underneath this sort of color so there's that one and then i got this one in bust again it's and this is very much a sort of taupey color i love taupes on my eyes i'll just show you that oh there you go beautiful taupey color oh they're so soft i'm actually very surprised i'm sure bust is in one of the um naked palettes if i'm honest so yeah it is oh, it's gorgeous um i'll show you in a sec they actually it is just lovely it's definitely a um taupey color it's got a hint of or is that because it's on my finger hint of purple in it um it actually i thought it was going to be shimmery but it looks quite matte no okay so i've just put an extra you can see it there there is a slight sheen to it like i don't know how to explain it but it's not glittery in any way um it's really pretty actually they go very well together so i'm really pleased with those and finally I can't believe I bought this actually because I've never bought one before. I do own the Naked 3, uh, but I bought the Naked 2 Basics palette. Um, and it, mainly because it was on sale. So this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. I don't, I no, I've never really listened to what anybody said about the packaging, but it's really heavy packaging compared to what I thought it would be. Um, I thought it'd be really plasticky, but it's like a rubbery feel can't really describe it it's like a rubber yeah it's really lovely um and if you haven't seen these naked basics before they are just perfect i won't blind you for kind of matte looks but really they're really great i think if you wanted to use some of the single eyeshadows and you've got transition colors and base colors and they're all mattes um there's a huge mirror obviously there i don't want to blind you but i'll take you through the there's six colors so i'll take you through them all you've got skimp they're so soft. I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> do you know what? Skimp is exactly the same colour as my skin. Great. <laughs> so that would be really good for blending out my eyeshadows. They're stark. I'll see if I can get them on and then, yeah, stark is a little bit darker. Um, frisk. It's really hard to show you guys these because uh, my arm's going to be difficult to put them in a really odd place. Cover. I love the look of cover. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's um, put too much on now. Typical, huh? That is gorgeous. I love cover. It reminds me a bit of Nuna. Um, primal. Again, really beautiful. I'm just trying to smudge them out a bit so you can't, that you know, you can see them blended a bit. And Undone, which is the dark one at the end. I prefer this dark one to a black one because I like dark... Um, browns around my eyes rather than blacks so you can see here there's the top one it's really difficult to see so it goes skimp stark frisk cover and undone <laughs> really awkward place to put them um it's a uh, slightly powdery because i've just popped my finger in but you can see there i mean it's what lovely i've never seen anything like that before and um, I've said it before, like traveling, we're going away um, this month. And I think, um, yeah, well, sort of this month, August. Um, so, yeah, I think this is perfect for that. Um, and I think actually it's, I'm really excited about taking this with me. It's going to be really ideal. Anyway, I'm running out of memory and I'm running out of time. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. But if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below if you've got any questions and subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.